Hello, my name is Giorgio Gasparini. In this video we are going to see how to set up the VMware Service EDL. The VMware Service Connector is called VMware vCenter Extractor Service. The purpose of this connector is to collect metrics from a vCenter server without requiring high statistics collection level in vCenter. The major difference from other extractor ETLs is that this service ETL does continuous polling, continuous population to CO data warehouse, so it can be used to collect real-time data and not historical data. The value of this solution is the ability to collect the detail metrics from VMware vCenter even with low login level and CO only infrastructure, so no additional agents are required. This is a service ETL, a pool of threads in the JVM of the scheduler continuously in execution on the ETL engine server. This task has three statuses, service on, service off or killed. So you can start, stop or kill a service ETL. To set up a service ETL, you need a read-only user over the vCenter. As already said, you don't need to modify the login level over the vCenter. You can leave it at one. To set up a vCenter ETL, set up the ETL extraction parameters, specifically the SDK URL, the username and password for the user you have. Then proceed with the standard ETL settings, such as the entity catalog and the OBJ rel dataset. Run the ETL and check its wrapper running constantly. It will uh, do periodical extraction every 15 minutes. To see the first data summarized into CO might require up to two hours, due to hourly averages calculated from minute 0 to minute 59 of every hour. At the end of this time, the data should look like this in CO. You should have a tree with clusters, data stores, virtual hosts, and virtual machines. Let's try to set up a service extractor together. Select the ETL module, remove the simulation mode, Set up a private or shared entity catalog, in this case we'll put private. Choose the domain to park the new data. Insert the URL, user and password. I'm using administrator, but you don't need the administrator explicitly to do this. If you want, you can change advanced settings, but it's not required. And you're done. Launch the ETL. The ETL is now running. We waited two hours and now the ETL has imported data. As you can see, all the data got imported into the tree structure 